What's going on guys, Zenos here and today in this video of Air of Light, let's discuss about the new event that has recently arrived in the Air of Light, which is pretty great. This is a major type of event that actually rewards a, you know, like 5 standard seven from a very limited pool of choice, uh, 4 of them, and it's gonna be great, okay? It's gonna be great, it's really good. <laughs> anyway, it says, Happy Valentine's Day! Uh, well, today is the 11th February, so three days earlier. Mm, three days in advance, guys. Complete all missions and receive the various rewards, including 5 star net 7. Now, this is the real beauty of this game. Oh my god, Steven did this. Like, what? <laughs> man, I forgot her. Who is she? Oh, man. Anyways, let's get into the main topic. By the way, hmm, who really she is? I think she is new. Is she really new? <laughs> Man, okay, so uh, it starts from today, that is the 11th of the February till the 9th of March. So that's nearly a month old, okay? That's like about 28 days or let's say four weeks of period, okay? So that's pretty good. Happy Valentine's Day and all you need is love and these rewards complete all missions and get various rewards including a 5 standard servant. The next one is Pete a Pat, mission event, complete missions, and tap claim to receive the rewards. So I really don't think there is actually a chronology, chronological order in here, meaning like you have to really sort of like, you know, uh, complete this uh, mission right out here in order to claim this one. I think you can claim it right away uh, without any problem. So yes, there we go, guys. You can actually uh, really don't have to go through a various sort of like process of like even one, two, three, like that kind of phases, okay? which is pretty much very irritating in the first place. And now right over here, uh, it's actually going to be very plain and simple, straightforward, okay? So this is really great. So try to uh, really claim any kind of reward that you have actually been able to unlock, okay? So let's try to discuss it right out, okay? So if you actually use 1000 Valors, you will be getting 500 Valors in refund. <laughs> Man, okay. The next one is get honor points. So. If you get like about 100 honor points, you'll be getting one time skill bond. Pretty easy. Really easy, guys. The next one is join guild dungeon, okay? So if you join the guild dungeon like 15 times, that will take you like about three days in total if you actually use the carrots. So you will be getting 20 times the PvP ticket, okay? If you go in a row using the carrots, it will take you like three days. Uh, that's it. The next one is the joint tower invasion, okay? So if you join like 30 of them, you will be getting like 1000 times valor. It's pretty easy. I think you can do it within like three days. The next one is complete daily mission seven as well. It actually takes seven days to complete this one. So yeah, it's a bottleneck right out here. Uh, one time skill bond, pretty good. That's good. We have already got like two times skill bond right out here, guys. Wow, this is really great. Just think about Summoner's War where we have to really do a lot of shit just to get that Devil Moon like and right over here you are bombarded with the skill bonds just like that. Wow, this is great. Next one is complete weekly missions. Okay, so right out here you will be getting two times six star epic gear. Now that is great. Okay, so weekly mission just two times. It's gonna be really great. It's actually can take actually two days uh, if you are really between that, you know, uh, that weekend stuff then you can just complete it within two days no problem at all the next one is the use valor okay uh if you have uh like if, if you like use five thousand valors obviously it is actually going to count it right out here as well you will be getting five times super magic stone which is going to be really great especially if you are trying to awaken your units especially your five star net units it's going to be pretty important the next one is use gold so you have to use like 10 million gold oh my god but Hey guys, I mean like if you are really spamming on your like transcendence, you will be using this kind of gold in no time. <laughs> transcendence, yes, it actually uses a lot of gold. Another one is obviously the equipment, uh, you know, or let's say gear uh, enhancement uh, in there. You will be getting a lot of that one. And the next one is you will be getting five times fire, water, forest, three to five star summon stone, just like that. Oh my god, this is good. Next one is join boss invasion for 10 times, which is gonna be pretty easy. You can do it like within the day, within, uh, I mean like maybe within an hour. You can actually finish this one right away. You will be getting through times rainbow stone. That is gonna be really great. Next one is obtain greater element stone or higher. And I'm actually nearly there and five times super magic stone just like that. Amazing. Next one is get gear from the dungeons. I've already got 187. <laughs> and if you get like about 400 of, it, of them, then you will be getting one time stand awakening item just like that. This is going to be really great, especially if you are beginners, you really don't know how to use this one. Then tip guys, please try to use this item to awaken your servants from the 
uh, second awakening to the third awakening okay that's the best way to actually use it so that you can uh save a lot of supreme awakening stones the next one is summon a four star or higher summon oh my god okay this is actually gonna be a little bit hard mm, well you will be needing a lot of uh, you know like uh epic summon stone uh, this one right out here but thing is that like whenever you use this one there is always a guaranteed chance that you will be getting at least a four star at seven whenever you do a 10 times pull so really don't worry about it guys okay it's gonna be really great and you are be getting you will be getting 1000 times potential in and stone this is actually very great uh especially for the beginners uh who are really trying to unlock their potential uh you know like the potential especially of like water laner very early in the game yes guys you are you will actually require this one so 1000 potential in and stone it's gonna be really great all right the next one is get honor points okay so if you get the honor points of about 700 wow that's a lot of honor points you have to do a lot of pvp battle guys okay you're only getting three times light and dark three to five star summon stone that's gonna be great that's good next one is join global infinite pvp battle okay so if you actually do it for like 150 times it can actually take you some time okay and if you can do it you'll be getting a uh, instant six star evolved item wow this is so great especially for beginners you want to get a six star seven right away <laughs> there you go guys this bond can actually get any of your servants even though they are like three star they will get into the six star immediately right away instantly that's why it's the instant six star evolved item one of the really overpowered item in the entire game okay the next one is participate in the boss raid for 20 times oh well it's actually pretty easy <laughs> you can just do it within a day or maybe i think it might take you about like one hour maybe one hour or two hour maybe okay if you do it in like a rapid succession then it's gonna be really great guys okay potential change stones times 50 wow that's pretty good that's pretty good and if you somehow manage to clear all these missions that is like about 15 of them if i'm not wrong 15 of them then what's gonna happen is that you will be provided the chance to now select between these four servants now whom to actually select okay now that is the main question in here whom to actually select among all these four servants okay now guys fire blavatsky is really one of the really amazing servant especially for the beginners if you are a beginner and you really want to make a really good progress especially in the dungeons okay and make a really sort of like a guaranteed type of win then i think fire blavatsky can be a very good choice okay but obviously she is gonna lose all her sparks very soon in the game as soon as you re-enter the mid game battle okay so fire blavatsky for early games is like a queen but as the game progresses on like she starts to lose her stride so that's the problem right out there guys so if you are a beginner this is a really good choice but if you are a mid game and the late game player obviously fire blavatsky is not really a very good choice to uh, look after okay the next one is water letter uh, water letter is a very good uh, support as well she's a little bit inferior to fire blavatsky in terms of like dot skills because fire blavatsky has three dot skills of level five whereas the water letter has two dot skills of uh, level five but water letter can have a little bit uh, better viability if you are trying to fight against the abysmal awakening dungeon yes guys against the abysmal awakening dungeon 11 floor and 12 floor water letter will be a very good addition to your team she's a really good support in that case of scenario and providing that two level five dots is actually going to be very helpful in farming that uh, water supreme awakening stone okay the next one is forest halil she's really one of the amazing healer out there in the game if uh, if you really want to get a really good healer then forest halil can be a very good candidate indeed she has two healing spells that is going to be your second skill and her combo skill thanks to her passive skill and she can actually remove uh, all the debuffs from your team meaning like a very good cleanse and she can also dispel all the buffs from the opponents as well at the same time with the combo skill that is so good and i think with the faster skills you can even decrease the defense of the opponents which is just gonna be so good at all i mean, like it's really good, great guys okay so first halal oh my god she is just too great a very good healer indeed if you are really looking forward for a good healer then forest halal can actually fit the role very nicely the next one is forest lander oh well she's a type of like a so so tank uh she's actually going to provide a very good 50 percent resist boost if 
all the allies are a first element yes only in that case but if you have a mix match or, or let's say you have like fire units a mix match of like all other type of element units then her passive is really not gonna work and she's pretty much very useless at that point as well so forest lenor she's a good tank but not really that best at the same point okay so main thing is that like okay as a beginner what to really select okay i would say you can go with fire blavatsky really easily if you really want to make a really good progress in your dungeons especially the 10th floor dungeons okay but if you have already managed to auto the 10th floor dungeon of the omen void then no need to go for fire blavatsky anymore okay you can now go with like water leto uh in preparation to actually make a very good progression in the awakening dungeon of the water sector okay so abysmal water uh, abysmal awakening dungeon or let's say the water awakening dungeon in that case of scenario guys 11th floor and 12th floor is going to be pretty easy if you have water later around but that's all there is to it she really doesn't have that much of scope in any other uh, other part of the game okay so it's really limited to dungeons if you really want to think about pvp she is really not going to be there first hell in the other hand guys she is so amazing like every content out there she's a very good healer if you really are looking for a, for a very good healer in this entire hl you know like content then forest healer can be a very great candidate indeed okay so forest healer from the very start to the very end of the game she's always going to be very useful so i think forest healer is actually be the you know like the best choice right out here that you must pick okay but uh, depending upon like what you really want to conquer in the game how you really want to progress in the game uh, the priority can really change but if you are a mid game player i think forest halil or water letter can actually make a very good choice forest laner i think it's really optional i mean like it's really up to you guys what you really want to think will do with the forest laner so it's not really that very impressive type of tank all right so she's like just a so-so it's really up to you okay you be the judge the jury and the executioner okay <laughs> so that is pretty much it guys well even notice right over here it just says like uh, whenever you claim the reward please try to claim them from your mailbox within seven days or else they will expire that's all there is to it guys okay so pretty much very exciting event isn't it all right so this is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contents of my channel and see you guys in the next video